remember that small little film uh, back in 2005 that starred Keanu Reeves, Rachel Weisz, Shia LaBeouf, and Tilda Swinton, just to name a few? Constantine? Um, that movie was a box office success, but it got middling re re reviews, and we never did get a sequel, even though the ending definitely left the door open for one. Well, we might actually get that long rumored sequel. Sort of. Um, according to We've Got This Covered, uh, Warner Brothers is interested in getting that Justice League Dark movie that, that's been kind of thrown around for the past few few years. They're actually interested in getting that movie greenlit, but they want to have Keanu Reeves reprise his Constantine character role um, in that film. It's like the, the, the headliner of that movie. Now, whether it's going to be a direct sequel to that film or just some kind of way to introduce the character remains to be seen. Um, but it is interesting at the very least. I mean, Keanu Reeves is definitely a hot commodity right now, having had a resurgence in popularity ever since 2014's John Wick became a breakout hit. So it's understandable that studios are trying to get him in as many movies as possible while his popularity is at a sky-high level right, right now. Currently, Keanu Reeves is working on a fourth Matrix film, a sequel to Bill and Ted, and another John Wick movie. So his schedule is definitely full. Um, so the question is, is this actually going to happen? And if it does, is it really going to be a successful thing? I mean, this is a movie that came out 15 years ago um, that a lot of people haven't really talked about since. <clears throat> Here's what I think. I don't think it's necessarily the greatest idea in the world. And before you pull out your pitchforks, hear me out here, okay? I was a huge fan of the Constantine film. I watched it a lot growing up. Um, I didn't know that it was based on a comic book back then. Keanu Reeves' iteration of that character was my first introduction to him overall. So that was the only, you know, image of the character that I had. So I didn't, I wasn't like a lot of other comic book fans who were like, oh, this isn't right, this isn't what he should look like, he should be British, blah, 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 whatever. I was a fan of that, of that movie, and for years I wanted a follow-up, because I was like, well, why not? You guys are making a ton of other films, why not make this one? Um, but now that I'm older, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I think that the time for Keanu Reeves' Constantine has passed. Not only that, but the character really isn't all that popular. Uh, they've tried to bring Constantine back in television form. Uh, I think way back in 2014 or 2015, there was a whole show. But that show was canceled not too long after it, de after it debuted, despite fans of the comic book being pleased with his comic book accuracy. Now the character is living on through shows like Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow, but as a side character, not so much a headliner. Um, and this might be why Warner Brothers is thinking about just kind of, you know, having him headline a teen movie because they feel like maybe he's not popular enough to have his own film. But we can't forget that the character isn't popular and we cannot forget that people just really aren't familiar with Justice League dark characters at all. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't even know that there is a Justice League dark. Now, that's not to say that making a movie, uh, you know, with characters that people are not familiar with. Um, can't be successful. I mean, we got Guardians of the Galaxy. We also have Suicide Squad, which until recently, no one knew that that that, that was a thing either. But those films are very different in the in the sense that uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was part of a larger universe that had already blown up in popularity. So people were going to see that movie just to kind of see where the story went. It was a part of a continuity, um, and the same isn't really the case for Suicide Squad, but you also had really known characters in that film. Harley Quinn, uh, Batman, I think even The Flash made a cameo, um, and a few other people on top of having those, you know, big names like Will Smith, Margot Robbie, etc. So those films had those things going for them, and that's why those movies were successful, okay? Uh, a Justice League Dark movie with Keanu Reeves, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, being like the big major star, I'm not so sure how that would work out. I mean, yes, you do have Keanu Reeves who's popular right now, and, you know, that could prove to be the case in a few years when this movie would likely be coming out, but we can't, you know, 
it remains to be seen how long his popularity is going to last. And you would need more than just him to be able to make a film that's just so niche and so and not well known to make that into a whole new franchise. I just don't think that, that that's really going to happen. Now they could try bringing in some other A-list talent or something to kind of, you know, bounce off of Keanu Reeves' popularity or, you know, try to boost uh, interest. But again, these are characters that no one really, really knows and a, and a headliner that really hasn't been in anything popular for years. Honestly, in my opinion, I think it would be in everyone's best interest to just go ahead and wipe the slate clean and entirely and just start over brand new. Uh, just get a new guy to play Constantine um, and then try to bring these other niche characters in, in there and try to make a good film uh, instead of going for popularity or A-list talent because I don't think that that's really the recipe to make this thing work. Now, I would love a sequel to the 2005 Constantine, but I do feel like that time has passed. Um, and, you know, if they do bring it back, it might just be a box office bomb, or uh, Keanu Reeves' popularity might just go go down, and people may not want to go see it. I mean, we, we, we don't know. We just, we can't tell. And with everything going on now, a lot of movies are getting pushed back, so it's probably going to be even longer before we get this thing. So, why not just start over brand new it might be the best option in the end um but that's pretty much it keanu reeves in the justice league dark movie as constantine what do you guys think do you think that this is something that should happen uh are some of you more fans of that matt ryan iteration of the character and you want to see him in a big film let me know in the comment section below. I mean, hey, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe a Justice League Dark movie would be super popular with Keanu Reeves in it. Uh, do, you, do you guys agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Don't forget to click that like button and do not forget to click that bell notification so that you will know when I post again. That's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay dope.